everybody. Welcome to Fordson High School's very first Maker Space. <laughs> and so before we show you around, a Maker Space is a place that in our library is a place for kids to be creative. A lot of hands-on activities that we're going to show you. And also a place for kids that just maybe need um, an outlet or a space to feel good about themselves. A lot of technology here, and it's more than just technology, uh, activities. Miss um, Stanton and I are going to show you around. We're very proud and excited for our students here at Fortson to be able to come in here and um, take advantage of all the things, all the great things we've purchased and um, that we have displayed. Miss Stanton. Oh, Miss Stanton. Oh, by the way, I'm Miss Hammond, and Miss Stanton is our amazing media secretary here at Fortson. Hi, I just want to say how excited I am about this maker space. The kids really enjoy coming into the beautiful Forts and Library. And what we have here are just some very kind of therapeutic things like weaving looms. People can engage in checkers, chess. We've got puzzles, puzzles, puzzle mats. We have the STEM items over here which are like your robotic kits. And, and really this is meant for kids to like start building. Someone else would come in and tag onto that and continue and working in collaboration with all of our students throughout the grade levels. Um, we have books to- Crafting or dummy. Give them ideas of how to do things. And we've also um, supply, we have the supplies for, for example, we bought paper, just colorful paper that's just for origami. So it's not only that we have things out here for display, we also have the supplies and materials that go with it. So there's no student that has to, part, to bring anything along with them. Everything is here. Um, Ms. Stanton, you want to show them something else? Yep, we'll have some uh, paint markers, not paint, but paint markers. And we have the different size um, canvases so people can start a project together. They can put it away and save it for the next day if they choose. We have all kinds of different books to um, look at, to inspire them. STEM related, um, things about robotics, inventing. Yep. These are some of the projects that have been worked on over the, the last year where this has been up and they're almost completed. I, they're pretty well done. But this is how, where it started, was just a whiteboard with some coloring and some knitting and crocheting things that we also have here. The kids really enjoy coming in, sitting down. They're figuring out the technology for this little robotics thing, um, different games. We have coloring, knitting, weaving, and some great quilts for them, which we'll be adding to. Up here at this very, very top, which is a blank canvas, we plan on putting some student-created art. So I'm excited for that to develop as well. And Ali, did you, Ali, recording us? These are some little uh, canvases that we bought plenty of them for not just students to come in here and work on, they can take them home with them and come back and work, finish them up when the next time they come in. So we thought that they can, um, we can hang them up on the wall and do other creative things with them. So we are so excited for you all to come and see our makerspace and enjoy in what we're doing here as the kids over here are doing. Um, what do you think about the makerspace? Oh, I think it's an awesome idea, and um, I think it's a really great way to, you know, get uh, kids motivated into doing other great uh, activities. Great. Um, I think it's very exciting because it's something different that we really haven't been able to do over here at Fortson, um, and I think it's a great opportunity to uh, give kids a more creative outlook on things. Thank you for watching our video, and we are, like everybody said, we're very excited about this. Ms. Stanton? See ya.